Hey everybody, um, this is Sheeta Boo. Um, it's still Thursday. Um, I wanted to talk a little more about some things. Um, the last video I talked about um, doing what's right for you and um, making your regimen your own. Um, you can get ideas from other people, but until you find out what works for you, your regimen is never going to be right. Um, <clears throat> and case in point, I, um, you know, sometimes we do things um, that some people may think is odd. Um, when I was relaxed, I had an, um, an appointment with my stylist every other Wednesday morning before I went to work. And someone said to me, you know, why you get your hair done on a Wednesday? You should get it done on a Friday or a Saturday. That way you can have a fresh do for the weekend. And I'm like, that outside, like, no, I like my Wednesday appointment. I can go in at 8.15 and by 9 o'clock, I'm done. I'm on my way to work. And plus, I can wear my hair to work and have it for the weekend, you know, before the next week. So, that's the way I felt about it. And, you know, they didn't understand why I would prefer a Wednesday. Well, Wednesday works better for me because I can get in. I can be the first appointment in the morning. And I can get out and go to work right away. I don't want to go on a Friday morning when everybody's trying to get a Friday appointment or a Saturday. An early appointment. And um, you have different people in. Or uh, And my stylist, she's good about um, not overbooking. But one thing about it, when you are a stylist and people have regular appointments, they don't, sometimes they don't tell you when they, ha they want to do a chemical or do something that may take a little more time. You know, some people say, well, it shouldn't take more time. But if your stylist is concerned about you sitting there all day, they shouldn't overbook their time slots and have four people under the dry while they're working on one head and knowing they got four more people coming in at the next time slot. It's just rude and unprofessional. But that's my personal opinion. I'm just saying. So, anyway, so you have to do what's right for you. You know, Wednesday it wasn't a, uh, a popular day, but it worked for my schedule and what I was looking for so you know sometimes you feel people feel like well I have to wash my hair every day because I got a TWA or I have to wash it every three days for it to do this you make your regimen your own if once a week works for you good if you have a lot of hair and once a week is a lot of work well maybe you um, do a protective style and wash your hair every two weeks long as your hair is clean and your your hair is moisturized and your scalp is not stressed so you do what works for you if you're not walking around with with bird nests and bad odor in your hair then hey whatever works for you works for you um you're talking about clean scalp <clears throat> when we're natural a lot of times people say don't use shampoo don't do this don't do that you know a lot of people have had have used shampoos and hair thrived th th for years because they know how to take care of their hair their hair after the shampoo so if you're a natural and you feel like you need to shampoo don't feel bad because you shampoo use the shampoo just make sure that you moisturize after or that you do a pre-poo before. As long as it's not damaging to your hair, it's okay. Um, if you're relaxed and, you know, sometimes you want to change your style, co-washing co is not just for naturals. You can use, do co-washing for, um, for relaxed hair as well. You can um, co-wash and change your style. Sometimes your hair isn't necessarily dirty or your scalp is actually filthy is just that you're tired of this style but you need to wait to do another style so co-wash may be a good quick way to um, wash out the previous style give your hair a quick condition and move on to the next style um, trimming your ends that's also something you know some people say well you can't grow hair with trim ends some people swear by it some people never do it I say it depends on your ends um, one thing is about split ends once they're split you can't fuse them back together you can buy products to have them look nice but once you go back to wash your hair, they're still going to be split. They're not going to ever not be split. So the best way to get rid of split ends is to cut the split ends off. Um, if you're not at the point where you want to cut them, then you need to do the best you can to get them smooth so that they don't tangle up in your hair and continue to split all the way up your hair shaft because you could lose, your, could damage the whole hair strand, not the hair shaft, the hair strand, and... Um, and then that would be another problem. Also, um, so that's on your own time. You know, some people do it religiously. Some people do it when they think about it, when they feel like it, when their styles don't work, they do it. So you just pick one. Um, there is no miracle product. There is no product that's going to make you go from one inch of hair, growing a quarter inch of hair, to growing three inches of hair in a month. 
Um, there are things that, are, that can stimulate your follicle. There are things that um, can have, help your hair um, stay strong. But how your hair grows is basically your body's decision. Um, and then, you know, it's nice to listen to gurus. But do your own follow-up. You know, sometimes I, I hear something, I'm like, oh, that's interesting. And then you hear it on five videos, and it sounds like it could be true. But you need to look it up and read it for yourself because sometimes people read something, but because they have that pre-notion in their mind already from the previous video they watched, they're, they've watched, then their interpretation is going to be what they've already heard. Um, my pastor always teaches taught us and I've been I've been in church all my life but the pastor I'm, I'm at now I've been there since I was a teenager and he's a teacher and he never has a sermon where he says you know take my word for it no look up the Bible open your Bible for yourself read it for yourself pray for yourself study for yourself so you will know what you know so you can't and I have to go around so my, my pastor said and so it must be true no the Bible says so the same thing with your hair. You can go around saying, well, so-and-so on YouTube said this, and so-and-so on Facebook said that. But if you read it for yourself, you can say, well, I've read, and researchers said that, you know, this about mineral oil, or this about silicones, or that about this. You need to find out the truth for yourself about your hair. Um, just because you're natural doesn't mean that you, because you don't relax your hair, hair and consider natural, quote-unquote, that you um, changed your whole lifestyle to this I'm not using this I'm not doing that I'm not eating this I'm not going here you know sometimes people just don't want to be relaxed so let's not take it too far or let people put a guilt on you because you're not taking natural to this whole nother level and then there are people that are natural that are vegetarians or they're vegan and they don't use certain products they don't use mineral oil they don't use silicones that's their choice but if your choice is different, that's okay. We're just going to do what we can do and keep on moving. So um, when you're following people on YouTube, and I have some channels that I followed before I was even made the decision to go natural, before I even uh, started transitioning, there are people that I follow and I follow now, and I love their videos. But I'm not going to take what they say as Bible or as the unadulterated truth because how you interpret a thing you know some people don't mind parabens because they figure we only use this styling product once every month or once every other month so it's not a problem I'm healthy and so all these parabens are excreted through my organs like they should because I'm a healthy individual then there's some people that haven't been healthy so they're saying well since I haven't been healthy I'm not going to use parabens at all so you have to decide what you want to do and then just be free to do you you know, if you don't have a relaxer and you want to dye your hair five different colors in one sitting, do that. Just know that you could lose some hair if you don't take care of it once you dye it. Um, also, if, you, if you're natural and you want to wear wigs and weaves, go ahead. That doesn't mean that you're um, disowning the black race and that you're ashamed of your natural hair. Sometimes it's just easier. If you got weave in it, you could care less about detangling. If you get a knot in it, you can cut it off and not even care. You know, you can get up in the morning, you ain't got to fuss with it, you don't have to take the braids out, take the twist out, you don't have to fluff, you don't have to oil, you don't have to moisturize. Once you moisturize it and braid it up, so you weave in, you're good to go. So if you want to be a weave wearer during your natural journey, do that. If you want to not do protective styles, you don't have to. If you want to wear a fro all the time, you can do that. If you want to wear a buzz cut or an amber rose cut or whatever you want to do, do that. Do what's best for you on your natural journey. Um, and that's it for this video. I just wanted to put those things out there to help some people along. I'm not a natural guru, but I am um, a supporter of people that's trying to do a positive change. And not saying that being relaxed is not positive. Whatever you're doing to better yourself, if you want to have a better head of hair, regardless of what you're doing to it, then I encourage you to do that. If you are um, underweight and you are trying to gain weight, if you're overweight and trying to lose weight, I want to encourage you to do that. If you want to change your life spiritually or financially or um, change relationships with your children or with your parents, whatever you're doing to better yourself, I am encouraging you to do, encouraging you to do that because it's a great and a positive thing to do. And being a person of growth, because we are growing at some point, that um, when you're trying to, when you're growing in your journey of life, 
that change is always good and I'm always um, encouraging you to that encouraging you to do that um, I will talk to you later have a wonderful and a blessed day